Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter on this May 20th, 2015. And uh, this is uh, WrestlingMayhemShow.com's Mayhem Minute. We're going to talk about some wrestling news. Sarah Del Rey and her position with NXT. A little bit of move there. Really good to see. But first, please check out our friends SliceOnBroadway.com and BoldPittsburgh.com supporting these shows. So there's an article. Uh, I picked up the one over at Diva Dirt, but I think this is generally going around. But uh, they are... are talking about over the diva dirt that sarah del rey has been promoted to nxt assistant head coach good for her i think the head coach right now is uh, uh, uh jason albert i believe is his real name uh goes by uh, you may know him as tensai or big t depending on the era but uh sarah del rey if you don't if you're not familiar go youtube sarah del rey <laughs> and check it out she has some great matches actually Surprisingly, some really good matches with Cesaro, of all people, uh, formerly the Claudio, Claudio Castagnoli uh, on the indies. And uh, and this, I think she has to be instrumental in this renaissance we're seeing in women's wrestling in NXT. Uh, we had Vaughn Johnson of, uh, of Philly.com and the uh, Squared Circle blog over there uh, talking about how you know he attended uh, both the NXT shows in Philly. And, of course, one of those headlined by Charlotte and Sasha Banks. You know, I, I was surprised we had... Like, like, you know, in our show, we had two women's matches of, of significant weight on NXT last week that I was just catching up with, you know, and, and, and this is a big thing. And to see her move up in position and uh, and, and now she's, you know, the uh, the assistant head coach, that's that's tremendous. A great position for her, um, you know, friend of the show. We actually have a if you check out our uh, uh, interview classics uh, series over on our YouTube page or on WrestlingMayhemShow.com or just search for Sarah Del Rey. Uh, we had a great discussion with her a few years ago when she was still uh, out on the indies and, and having fun there. And and I'm always, it, to me personally, I think it's always great. You know, we talked about ind- independence last night on the Indie Mayhem show and in your position of, you know, deciding to make money on the indies or deciding to work for a company. You know, she's somebody who's really kind of done it on her own for years and years and years. And, and, and somebody like that, it's always really cool to be like, cool she gets to be in one place she doesn't have to travel as much she gets a regular paycheck no she's not on the ring I, i'd love to be seeing her on on my monday night raw as well but that she's influencing the people we are going to see very shortly if not yet or Paige, you know it would be probably somebody that came under her tutelage i uh, i think that's tremendous i you know i i just anybody in wrestling i'm just happy when they get they get their dues, and and it sounds like she's getting a good position there, and I hope that she's there and influencing the company. I mean, I mean, damn it, she's always smiling when you show a picture of her in these things with an NXT t-shirt on. She's good at that, at least, right? But uh, no, it's really cool. Uh, congratulations to Sarah Del Rey, a friend of the show here at Wrestling Mayhem Show. And uh, let us know what you think about this and everything coming up. TakeOver, of course, is this evening as I'm recording this, uh, the live event for NXT. So uh, please check that out. Please let us know what you think. Wherever you find this video or audio version, please subscribe. And we'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.